So uh, the Game Developers Conference, GDC, is going on right now in San Francisco. It's aimed at game developers, but it is a, a chance really for people to see what's new in gaming. And the big announcement already happened. Sony's event was last night. Sony revealed something everybody's been interested in, pricing and availability for Sony's VR headset. And with an install base of 38 million PlayStation 4s, this could be the dark horse in virtual reality. Father Robert Ballas there and Chad Johnson on the show floor. We're going to throw it to them right now for a quick report from GDC. Guys? Hey, Liel. Thanks very much. I'm here at the Game Developer Conference in San Francisco. And, uh, well, I'm standing next to Mr. Chad Johnson. Hey! OMG Chad himself. How are you doing, Padre? Uh, pretty good. Now, now, Chad, if you're a gamer, this is your mecca. I mean, we're in the heart of San Francisco. Right now, where we're standing, we're surrounded by Sony, NVIDIA, Unreal, Twitch. This, this is where to be if you work in, play at, or just enjoy the gaming industry. Absolutely. This is the Game Developers Conference. So... Things are a little bit more geared to the industry instead of media, but the thing is, is developers need to know. You know, all of our big announcements, even from Apple, are coming from the developer keynotes because developers have to start developing for these systems. And so we've already seen quite a lot of announcements from Sony yesterday. Uh, I got to see from Oculus a Minecraft running on a phone in virtual reality. There's so much to see at GDC. Uh, let's talk about that. Now, th there were a few big announcements that came over the, the last couple of days. GDC started, just not the expo. For example, we heard that Microsoft has opened up cross-platform playability. So Absolutely. soon, in, uh, in apps that are designed for, you can play on a PlayStation and an Xbox and a Windows PC at the same time. That, that has me excited. But what had me really excited was the Sony announcement and just the demo that we saw about 10 minutes ago. Tell me about it. So PlayStation VR has been something that we've known about for a long time. It was Project Morpheus before, but now they've really, it's polished, it's ready to go. And so we heard, saw the announcement yesterday and we got to experience it today, me and you. This is the first time I ever experienced PlayStation VR. And I got to say... I was really impressed. I was really impressed. You, you, it's it's Sony that we're talking about. They make PlayStation, so the hardware is really well constructed. They make phones, they make PlayStation 4s, they make everything. So uh, just the headset itself is very lightweight. It's it's uh, absolutely balanced to sit on your head really well. You have a motion of, of the VR headset, so if you have glasses, it will you know move forward and out of the way. I mean, it, it just the headset itself is is yeah. like a glove. I mean, it's Hardware really nice. Really beautiful. Right. Now, one of the things is, I know you've tried them too. I've tried the new Oculus Rift. Mm -hmm. I've tried the HTC Vive. I tried the Samsung Gear, and I I would say this is definitely better than the Gear. Probably not to the level of the HTC Vive, but the Vive to work properly requires a room. You got to set up yeah. a room. It requires light room stuff in the corners. You got to move the couch out of the way. I mean, yeah, and it's it's the it's much it's at a higher price point than the yeah. PlayStation. VR. Let's talk about that because both the Vive and the Oculus Rift are going to require a pretty hefty PC. I mean, if yes. you want it to run at full spec. You're going to be spending at least fifteen hundred, probably closer to two thousand dollars, to buy a PC that will run it properly. The thing about the PlayStation VR, which blew me away, is it runs on the PlayStation Four. It runs on the PlayStation Four. Most people, if you're a big gamer, already own a PlayStation Four. If you don't, it's not too big of an investment. You can even buy one used if you want to to bring the cost down even more. And so the fact that it works with the PlayStation Four is a really big boon for the, the PlayStation VR. On top of that, what you're using to control, you know, other than the headset, you have the Move controllers and then you have a normal six-axis controller. Both of those you can get used. The Move controller has been on the market for years. Uh, it's made better by the new eye camera, the PlayStation 4 eye camera. Uh, but you can go, I, I, I was at my own GameStop, you could get a, a single Move stick for $8. I mean, the price point here really, I think, is a, a big story that a lot of people are going to invest in this VR, VR headset. The other thing is the games. It's PlayStation. You're going to have a game lineup from PlayStation. They're going to be pushing 
the game lineup so that they get exclusive VR experiences on the PlayStation. So I, d I think that can't be discounted either because what's a great game console, a gr great game system without any games to play? Yeah. So I'm really excited about that now, as well. Uh, let's help the audience with, with a quick judgment here. So I obviously I would put this above the Gear VR. Yes. Uh, and I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things that are kind of wonky with the Gear VR, but the big thing is you've got a phone hanging off the front of your head. It doesn't feel comfortable. This was, yeah. this was really nice. But when comparing this with the Vive and the uh, and the Oculus Rift, I would place the technology above the Oculus Rift. I would. I would place the whole experience a little bit below the Vive, but right. with the price point being so low comparatively to Compared those two, to the Vive, yeah. where would you rank this? Right in the middle. I mean, the thing, is, it's funny, because Oculus, who started all this, I, I love Oculus. I mean, I've used Oculus more than any of the other uh, VR uh, demos and, and experiences. But the technology, I almost feel like they were hampered a little bit by starting so early because the technology in the, in the PlayStation VR is better. It's lighter. It's constructed uh, a lot nicer. It's balanced. I mean, it has so much going for it, and it, it works without a massive PC. So I would set just the experience, not judging price, not judging, you know, the fact that it might have built-in games later. Just the experience, would I would put... Uh, start off with the H, with the sorry, with the Oculus Rift, then the uh, PlayStation, then the Vive at the top. So yeah. Well, Chad, we got to send it back to the studio. I, for a quick summary: uh, you would give the PlayStation VR thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. It's two thumbs up. Uh, what else are we going to see here? Because obviously they're going to want to check out our GD spe GDC special. We're going to be roving through all three halls of this conference. Uh, what what are the big ticket items for you? For, well, the big ticket items are more VR. More I mean VR. VR I mean, it seems silly, but uh, th that's what's happening to the gaming space. I mean, this year is kind of the VR year. Um, but other than that, I, I hope that we talk to NVIDIA. I hope that we talk to uh, you know Sony some more about other games. I mean, there's so much to see here at GDC. Chad Johnson, Father Robert Ballas there, sending it back to you, Leo. And keep real in the virtual world. <laughs>